Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. I want to start this off by saying that everyone has a bit of selfishness in them. We are all human. It is a part of our own self-preservation. But this video is about how so-called black women have taken selfishness to a whole new destructive level. For some reason, they have equated being selfish with being strong and independent, which is far from the truth. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the video. It's free. There was a time when black women were the caretakers of their families. They held their families together, cherished their husbands and their marriages, and were selfless in holding them together. Women took care of their husband and their children. The time when black women took satisfaction and comfort in being married for 30, 40, 50, and 60 years. But not today. Today women flaunt their selfishness like a badge of honor. With no shame, the women of today will destroy their home and marriage at the drop of a pin. These selfish women have no regard for their husband, their children, or their marriage. It doesn't matter to the women of today. It's just me, myself, and I, all day, every day. Even though statistics show that children do better with both biological parents in the home. Black women are the only group that has the highest divorce rate than marriage rate. And more than 72% of black babies are born to unmarried mothers. You can go to any platform and find these selfish, single, baby mamas. It's all about them, their feelings, their needs, and what they want. Which come before their children's needs and their husbands or baby daddy. Men have been saying for years that they don't like women with fake long nails, fake wigs and clip-ons, fake eyelashes, a face caked in makeup and with piercings in their nose and face. But these selfish women do it anyway. These selfish women can tell you what kind of man they are looking for and tell you all the things they expect from a man and how he should be able to fit into their lifestyle, but they don't even know, think about or bring up what the man may want or how he may feel. The selfish women's battle cry is independent woman, boss chick, black girl magic, female empowerment, the list goes on and on. They don't include or consider their kids just themselves. They haven't even worked out the math that two incomes are better than one. Most of these women are looking for high earning men to pay all the bills while they take their money and do what they want. These selfish women misbehave, showing bad and poor manners. They will tell you that they are guided by and follow their heart, but they really just follow the money. They have a price and the most shocking part is that most of these selfish women will sell their soul for the right price. They have no self-awareness. There are 2 million more black women than men. 70 to 80% of black women are single and all these women are waiting to find the top 2% of men. With money to find them, they don't care if the man believes in the creator of the heavens and the earth. These selfish women only see the money and they're so delusional. They have the nerve to say they won't settle for any other man except the ones in the top 2%. Let's talk about the destructive trail this selfishness has caused. 80% of women filed for their own divorce, tearing up their own families for their own selfish reasons. 80% of their children are grown up without a father in the home. They chase careers and dreams with no regard for family or who they hurt in the process. This new black woman is selfish. Our communities are wrecked and devastated. Their children have no direction because the selfish mother doesn't have time for her own children. And she made sure that their father is not in the home. The children are out in these streets robbing, killing, and doing the most wicked acts. These selfish women are growing up little monsters. While these women have abandoned their husbands and men in general for their own self-gratification, not teaching their children, but letting the world teach their kids instead of their father. Selfish women don't want to compromise, share, cook or clean for a man, let alone submit to a husband. These delusional women will say that they put the creator of the heavens and the earth first, but they don't follow his laws, statues, or commandments. Just go to any platform and you will see a selfish woman with no shame. This world has told women that it is okay to put money first, that it is okay to have sex with different men. Women are lovers of themselves, lovers of money, arrogant, rude, proud, disobedient, ungrateful, and unholy. They are not lovers of good. These selfish women are without love, unforgiving, liars, without self-control, disloyal, cruel, reckless, vain. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of the most high. These selfish women will say that they know the creator of the heavens and the earth, but they have no understanding of the most high. Just listen to them, Kevin Samuels is a good place to start. This goes way past selfishness to me. They are liars, they show no forgiveness because they divorced their husband, wrecking their homes. They are cruel and rude without self-control. These women have no loyalty. These selfish women are loaded down with sins and are swayed by all kinds of evil desires. These women are always learning, but they are never able to come to learn the true knowledge, the knowledge of the truth. 
A big storm and a change is coming, ladies. The Most High is not playing. Just look around you. The wicked is blinded by their sins and they are dying in their sins in overwhelming numbers. But it is not too late for you because if you are watching this video, you have an opportunity to change your wicked ways. The Most High is not playing. There was a time when the Creator winked at our ignorance. But this is not that time. Nothing will get better here. It is only getting worse. You will need the Creator of the heavens and the earth. You need to follow His laws, statues, and commandments in order to live in the Father's power. Being a single woman living alone, with the weather getting worse and the society breaking down, it's not safe to go shopping, worrying about being attacked every time you go out, or at night every sound you hear in your home. You think it can be some bad person breaking in, you are not safe in your own home alone. No one will hear you scream, and if they do hear your screams will they help you. You need the power of the Most High. I could not imagine living in these times without my power. It does not matter how much money you have it will not save you from the Most High's judgment. You should be willing to share and compromise, and not let the sickness of selfishness and greed stop you from living with a husband in the Father's power. Any sister who is listening to this, look in the mirror and ask yourself, are you shame-faced, modest, prudent, reliable, gentle, do you know how to praise, are you caring and warm-hearted? Do you know how to be grateful? Do you know how to love someone besides yourself? Don't lie to yourself. If you don't have any of these qualities, it's time to change your wicked ways. Because selfishness will not get you to heaven. You need to be able to look at yourself objectively. As society breaks down, you will have a bigger target on your back by lawless people. Just check out your local news, being a single woman and selfish. It's only a matter of time when bad comes knocking at your door. But if you are following the laws, statues and commandments of the creator of the heavens and the earth, you have your power the most high. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.